What's going on, YouTube? BraceCrispy94 here, bringing you another Icons of the Realms opening. We are back with Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Still hunting that... Oh, it's right there. The Jabberwock. Uh, hoping to get it soon. We are officially halfway through our brick with this box. So yeah, let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. There's one, two. Ooh, that's kind of a biggie. And kind of a very smallie. Got a little side table over here now. It's very nice, handy. You can keep some D and D books on it, some paints, you know, whatever I need. Okay, let's go with this one, uh, which I do believe is a figure we have already seen before, uh, which is unfortunate. Yes. Oh wait, no, Glister. We have not seen this one. This is one of the other dancers. So very cool. Uh, curing just stopped. In case you were wondering what that beep was, if you heard it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, super cool here. I enjoy that a lot. Next, let's go with this, which I believe is some sort of fairy. Throw away my trash here. Oop, drop the fairy. Uh, oh, I lied, it is a pixie. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to look up the difference between the fairy and the pixie. Um, I really like this wings. It's, so, I've been watching season three of Harley Quinn on HBO Max, um, and this is giving me Poison Ivy vibes with the red hair, green skin, and the dress. Um, yeah, which if you don't watch Harley Quinn, uh, it's actually really funny. Um, don't expect like a serious show. It's complete and utter chaotic comedy, but it's actually really good. Um, yeah. Very cool little pixie. Well, that's a crown. I kept trying to figure out like why her hair doesn't go all the way up, but no, it's just like a little flower crown. Oof. Hard to get it to focus. She does have eyeballs. Very cool. I, I like that figure a lot. Um, I like the smaller figures, especially when they're that detailed. Uh, I wanted to show off Blister. Blister again, because I didn't really show her off. Um, I, I'm actually Pretty unimpressed with her uh, but yeah so there that is uh, now this one which is very large and I'm excited about the fact that it's so large I mean that's a solid chunk I'm surprised they didn't put it as one of the uh, you know big minis does it not have a base is this part of hold up is this part of the interesting it's part of the uh, big figure because it goes with the floating lily pad. This is, um, I don't believe she is actually on the, or no, or did I just get gypped out of a base for this thing? Give me one second, people, because I got to figure out what's going on and if I'm missing something or not. Okay, so, uh, looked it up online, and this is, I found this, I missed it in the little packaging, but this is Bavalorna Brightstraw? Yeah, Brightstraw. Um, character from the book, very cool. I like that she has these little, like, tiny weird things on her back that look like her. Uh, I can't remember if she's some sort of hag or not. I tried not to spoil the book for myself, because I do want to play it really badly um but i guess the gimmick here is she her base dismounts so she can attach on the floating lily pad but she doesn't actually attach on it she just sits there so i don't really get the point of the the attaching base or not um And the base is kind of a pain to get back on but yeah because that does that's the same effect it would have been cool you know if this lily pad the whole lily pad detached from her I, I went over it and made sure it doesn't it does not and then you could set her on this lily pad um but no uh but this is one of the rare figures in the box set so really cool that we got her um i like her little green dress 
that almost just looks i mean it's obviously made out of swamp material because she's some sort of hag like i said um her little staff thing is weird to me i like it but i also don't her eyes like terrify me i also am terrified the fact that she's got like four little versions of herself all over her back and then this one just chilling down here like yeah i'm down here um but yeah so that's cool and then the floating lily pad uh very cool like i like being able to have this for use um but i don't really know what i'd use it for i'm gonna have to look up like in my eye it in my mind sorry it's like your players could float across the pond on this you know if you, you got like two or three of them send your players across in a swamp and then ooh, sorry about that i normally have those off but i just updated everything so windows being windows um though i don't know if computer sounds record so i may have just sounded really weird a bunch of stuff just fell it life is falling apart right now <laughs> uh anyway yeah you can send your players across on these floating lily pads and then a couple crocodiles um you know a hag pops out so i'm going to cool corpse flower even just like a cool swamp encounter where they have to do battle on these floating pads or fall in the water and risk drowning uh maybe the creature gets some sort of buff in the water so they can do a special attack who knows so yeah i actually like this uh i might look at getting a few more of these or like 3d printing some because i think that'd be a really cool counter uh so let's rank these um this i'm not gonna include in the ranking i really like it but for reasons other than you know plus it's just a prop so least favorite uh unfortunately is our dancer lady uh my favorite my second favorite is actually going to be reading over here because it's easier to read uh bar bavlorna bavlorna very weird name is bavlorma uh, i really like her but I, I just really like this pixie and i don't know why it's the poison ivy the poison ivy pixie wins it for me so yeah that is going to wrap up this one everybody i hope you enjoyed it we will be back next week with more miniatures and later on in the week with a mini painting video so stick around for that subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already and i'll catch y'all later peace